All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> and it's 87.8 degrees in Chicago land. Yes, it is. It's hot out there. So, uh, there. So, uh, we're going to, if you remember from the last episode, um, we had this photo of the castle. And now... Um, I'm going to show you what, uh, how to turn this. This is, this is like one of those, um, what was that? Uh, HGTV or what the learning channel turned into. We're going to go from this house to that. Very cool. It's done. The, um, the castle is done. So basically what I did is I just um, took the existing castle. And there's going to be some lag because I'm playing this in the local world. So you can could, you could see here, it's just going to be, um, took the castle and just built on it. I'll show you where the original walls and stuff were. Because they're still there. And there's a frog on the roof. Look at that, there's a froggy. I love that pets mod. So, updated some mods. Um, all the animals mods were, were updated. And some other ones, too. Added. I didn't add too many mods this time. I just wanted to build. I added home decor because there were certain things inside home decor that I wanted for my world. And, um, yeah. So, uh, here's the outside. And I went with my uh, standard green stained glass. That's another mod I added was the stained glass to go with the arcs. And it looks mighty uh, arcful. Yeah. And it looks pretty safe to land. Oh, there's a there's a rat right there. And uh, let's see how many people get this reference. Nice beaver. Uh-oh. A mouse. A mouse got me. I miss Leslie Nielsen and uh, naked, the Naked Gun movies. <laughs> so, an airplane. I gotta watch that again. Ooh. Nice. We got the rats. So, um, I was testing some dynamite out here. Let's see, what's this? That's a bird. Yes, it is. And a squirrel. So, let's go take a look at the castle while the uh, leopards... And the lions are away because they will start attacking. Yeah, gotta look around before coming to a landing near you. So basically, what I did is added some cylinders, some uh, castle turrets, and ex completely expanded on the original the original castle. And you can tell that everything seems off by a block, and that's because it is. As you can see, there's four and then five of those uh, protective barriers. So it is off a little bit, but who cares? That's the whole beauty of it. So we come in here, got our castle gates. Yeah, this is part of the original castle, just been um, added onto. And then we just have log storage over here, back here. We have unused area that will be used. And uh, this can go down to a mine. There's two places like this. Which will be really cool. We will go venture. Yeah, we will venture towards that way. Nice. You, 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 what? what? Thank you. Uh, give the dog a bone. Let's get rid of some inventory here. I just have way too much stuff again. Oh, and uh, Escape 99 mentioned about the hot bar. So if you just type the slash to go into your little terminal here, and if you have the hot bar mod, you type hot bar, and then I don't know if I showed this. We'll, we'll shrink mine down to eight. See? Now it's eight. So now we go, um, we bring that back up, go back in, and we're going to go to 24. And there, 
Nice. I had it at 16 earlier. Now I got it at 24. Very cool. So that's how you do that. So it's hot bar space and then the size. And if you're in, if you're at 5.0, I believe you can go to 32. Let's test that theorem. Let's uh, bring up hot bar and go to 32. Yes, you can. Look at that. It doubles it up. That's too much. Let's go back to um, hot bar 24. There we go. That's much more manageable. So these are, um, I'm going to turn on debugging just for the heck of it. These are mob fences that come with the um, mobs redo. Or one of the mobs, it comes with mob fences. And they're supposed to be high enough to that you can't jump over them normally. However, however, if a cow or an animal jumps on the back of another animal, they'll jump out. So I doubled them up. Yeah. So this was, uh, this was the original entrance. We're going to go down, added some stair rails, and we come down here, and this is, I've been doing some remodeling down here. And so we will show that off real quick. So here's the bedroom. I think uh, we saw that, we saw this last time. So we won't spend too much time here. But I moved this stuff. So now you can see one entrance with two little coveys, and they're red. Gives a nice contrast for home decorating tips. Yes, it does. So we come in here, and we have our living room. Nice. And over here, this actually goes up. We have a secret. We have a secret emergency exit, which goes into a spiral staircase yes i've been i've been busy building like it like it matters so where we were originally we were over there now we're over here amazing but it does and it comes out here we're behind the crops behind the castle so we have we have emergency exits built in everywhere um that's where we came from and we have stairs going up to the second level which over here is the back castle turrets. Very nice. And we have stairways going up. And this goes out to, yeah, you guessed it, walkway. So these lower walls, as you see there, above where the, uh, the expanded uh, farm animals are, uh, that was original. So that was original, that's original. This back wall is original, which is going to be changed to uh, equal the, the back part. And these castle turrets were added after the fact. Come up here. We have more space and room here. And then we go up to the, to the top. Nice. I think so. Um, so that adds that. And you can do... So this could be guards' quarters, whatever the case is. We're going to stay up here on this level because we're going to go check out the main quarters. So as you know, I built it underground, which works out perfectly. This area lags for, for whatever reason. Something is going on out here, and Siri just decided to kick up. Not cool. Not cool. So this over here, nice wood floors. We come up here. We have another area to go up. Cool. And I'm just lagging way too much up here. I'm still, I'm still wrestling with the uh, the settings of um, OBS and on Linux. I'm, I've been just staying on Linux now. So, and this. So we come over here. And we have, we have one of the main quarters. We, get, we can make a kitchen out of this. We can make a little living room, anything you want. We have a patio with balcony overlooking our little mini kingdom. Added some detail in for the walls. These all, all these walls are new. And we're going to go check out the um, farm animal section. But we can go up to the, the main tower here. 
This is like a guards area for lookout, protected area. And then we come up to the very tippy top. We can see our elephants and turtle right down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There he is. There's a turtle. There's another rat. I wonder if I could pick that rat off. I did it before. It's, it's actually quite funny. No, I'm not going to waste. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, he, he lives another day. <laughs> so the castle, this castle is done. This is basically just a couple days of just playing around, experimenting with a new world. And like I said before, you can add mods, you know, create a new world and add a bunch of mods to play with. Uh, create a little game kind of deal that you want. And this goes to the other side. So we will check this out before going down to the lower levels. And it's just more of the same. But I tried doing things a little bit differently, adding columns, uh, items like that, the stairwells. We got beautiful views. Yes. So if you're on the market for a castle, look at that. You got elephants, everything. Beautiful views. So we'll go down to the second level before going into the main quarters again. And everything, everything ties into everything else. So you can get out here. And go that way. <sighs> this lag is driving me crazy. But I'm playing I'm playing locally. We have here. Um, this goes up. Yeah. It goes up because right below is the uh, farm. So we're going to go check that out. Right quickly here. But there's a lot of stuff that can be done with these hallways. You can add little mini rooms and stuff like that. Here's another one. So here's the, the way going down. Now down here, this is the base of the one turret. And yeah, you got a nice little storeroom. And then we come out here and we're back to where we started. We have another storeroom and then goes down into the, my, the king's quarters. It's good to be the king. But over here, we have the farm. So all this area, this is the new wall. This section right here is the old wall. And this is the original, uh, the farm. So we come out, we move kitty. We come back here, we have just an extended area for the protection of the animals. And it turned out really cool. That's, that's the chimney coming from the basement. And there's the emergency exit. And there's Mabel, the cow, and the kitty. More cows. The cows aren't eating the grass. So I'm going to have to check the code for the Lua. Because the cows are supposed to eat. They'll, they'll do damage to the grass. But they're not on this one. So then I've doubled up the gates. It looks pretty cool. That's the chimney for the bedroom. Which is uh, needed. Yeah. To make a realism. So there you have it. There is that. And where are we at here? Let's go back up to the second floor here. So any of these rooms could be... You could do anything you want in these rooms. These come out here. To the second level. The stairs. I think that was a goat. So it turned out, it turned out really cool. And this is just... This is just playing around. Like It, it wasn't nothing... Um, nothing was planned on this. And it turned out this good. So here is where you can come to the front. I forgot what all these um, matriculations and other the, the proper naming of these. I forgot all that. I have to go look that up again. But yeah. So you, you, have, you have a bunch of rooms and everything that can be utilized for different castle type things. There's the lions. I knew they'd be coming back. Out there. And then, like I said, secret secret passages all over the place, and there was no rhyme or reason to what to what all this turned into. There's a panda and a doggy. 
So we have everything to be self-sufficient. We have crops, we have farming, we have animals, uh, we have quarters, residents. This, this was going to be a fireplace. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here. And we come down here. And then back here, here's the skylight. And the castle, it's starting to get dark. This looks really, really cool at night. Of course, it doesn't show up on camera. Nice lag there. So what we're going to do is, this is the new world. Um, and like I said, you can play along. Uh, it's, it's basically just an, an experiment in... It's, there we go. I was hungry. Just an experiment in... Just creating, just creating a brand new world. So if you get into a rut, you know, playing, playing the other worlds. Yeah, just you create a new world, add a bunch of mods, try it out, try out a bunch of different mods, different texture packs, without ruining your main world or whatever, whatever that you wanted. I didn't change anything back here yet. I think there was some stuff going on here at this mine because I did find another area where this mine had uh, continued. There it is. Let's see if I can jump. There we go. So back down here is another actual mine. I don't think we're going to be able to see it because, yeah, you have to wait for that. So I might utilize this for something. There's stairs going all over the place. It goes down. It creates a real cool atmosphere. You can have dungeons down here. Now it looks like, uh, remember that game Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein 3D. Now we're back out here. And this was like an original mine area. Let's see if I can get back up. I doubt it. I did, I did something wrong. How did I get up here? Oh, duh. There we go. Now we're back up. Let's put a, put a candle there. Because why not? Because we can. Looks kind of weird there, though. So that is the additions. And this is the final video on the uh, new world with the castle settings. Uh, just because. But I'm going to keep this around. Um... I'm going to revisit this and play with it because there's a lot of cool things that I don't want, don't want to lose. And of course, yes, whatever, what other medieval world are you going to have with a TV and computer system? Very cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a hop over our Polly, birdie bird. We're going to take a hop over to the new world. And I love that. Look at that. It bounces. We're going to take a hop over to the new world and see what I've been doing over there. So we will be right back. All right. Now we're back out at the, uh, the new world, the modern world. And I put a fish tank in from pets with fishies. Cool. And we're going to go do a quick... If I can get down the stairs. I'm watching the monitor at the same time. So we can... We, there's a parrot. Yes. I parrot. I I do think... Let's jump down here. Yay. I don't know what it is. You see, now I shouldn't be lagging as much. Because... This is off my... This world is on my server. Yeah. So I also fixed the 3D armor. Um, where's that key at? Look at that. I am now standing above the ground. Very cool. There's a hedgehog again. And he's walking. So what happened was um, the 3D armor, uh, your, your figure appeared, if you're in that first or if you're in that view it'll be half in the ground and now it's above ground so
So what we have on the new world that I've been working on is I extended this building. This building is now a movie theater. And you can tell, look at that. Look at that sign. I got it to work. And I what I couldn't get working was having it wrap around. I can't figure that out, but the code is working. So, and I posted this code before. And then you can, no matter how you stack it, is where, yeah, there it is. So wherever, like this block is the main block and these follow it. And so it worked. And I, as you can see here, I have three different sides. So there's three different, um, three different main blocks here. So it just says all the word Chicago. So that is the, that's the theater I've been working on. And it lends itself really cool to um, a theater that's actually in the city of Chicago, and it has that marquee on there. So we come in here, and back in here, this is going to be the theater area and stage and everything else. So that will, that will work out nicely on a future project. Yeah. And then uh, this building over here is kind of cool. Well, it is cool. But it has a special thing up in the attic, which is nice. So we were going to take a, a jaunt up there real quick. And I haven't finished the stairwells or dividing up how I'm going to uh, divide up the units. So basically, there's two units per floor. And you come up here to the top and to the penthouse, and you have these really neat, like balcony cutouts that overlook the city. So that's nice. I have to figure out a nice uh, transition to come up here. And then you have this side here, a little pass through. So it turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. And there's a, there's a bunch of other ideas that I want to try to pull off. But that's for this building. And, and like all the other buildings, there are shops in the uh, first floor of it. And over here, there's my squirrel. Over here, this is going to lead to a driveway, parking in a driveway for behind the movie theater. Across the street, uh, we have something that I was experimenting with. The, the red brick, it just looks like too much. It looks like there should only be one one row but what i'm doing here is there's going to be a bunch of buildings off this side this is this is like a lawyer building you know a more um uh, what's the word i'm looking for uh like an older style architecture but i used a lot of the facade blocks everything else so we have a storefront here with a little apartment or whatever on the top. I really do like the way that the awning turned out. And it's just two blocks, two wool blocks, cut in the circular saw on an angle. So there's the long one and the short one. And then these little short panels that are down, creating the actual awning, which, which turned out really nice. I don't know what, what I'm going to make this. So here's an access way to get down here. Here's another one going back here. There's, there's stairs to the second floor. I have to figure out how to get to the upper levels. And what I'm going to actually do with this. Because I, I have enough restaurants and stuff. This might be a pet store. Uh, hence the fish tank. And the butterfly picture. So that will um, that will work on that. So what I'm talking about about the... Those blocks, if we come in here, we have this short block slope and a larger one right here. How that works is put down that one. And then we have the shorter one. And that creates that creates a longer slope, which is how I created these. So that's uh, that's how that works. And then down here. I like the building, but I'm not too happy about the uh, red brick surround. But I do like that style. It just it just looks too um, 
I don't know. It works. And then over here, this goes up to the second floor. And then I have to figure out how to get up to the third floor. So I might actually take, put a door here and then uh, do another row of stairs up to the third floor. Because you got, you got some great views over here if you really think about it. Look at that, the view of downtown area. So that is what I've been working on on this world. And then over here, these back here, we have stairway to get up to the second floor apartment or office or whatever. And I'm going to have a way to get up to the third floor. And we have a way to get to the first floor. So realism wise, it's going pretty good. That's all I can ask for. So, um, yeah, that's going to that's gonna do it. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to put back in this area. So I have been extending the landscape over here because I have to flatten this out to extend the city. So that's being worked on. And I got to get buildings for this side here to go in there. We have this all laid out to have some stuff I love this building. To put stuff inside here. We have our car collection. Considering this is the uh, automotive design school building, you'd kind of think that there would be, you know, I don't know, cars. So I am happy with how everything is turning out on this world. And obviously the fountain. And we're going to go from there. So uh, I'm going to spend some time out here and then I'm going to dive back into the actual medieval world because of the additions. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. Because of the additions with the uh, three high, uh, too many nodes, nodes um, PK arcs mod, with the additions on that, I am going to fix. Well, I already did because I kind of showed it. But I want to spend some, I want to build, uh, extend the medieval building out a little bit, the world out a little bit, and uh, do more work on the castle and finish that up. And then what I'm thinking about doing is a bunch of people requested the, a tour of the worlds. So I think I could pull that off relatively quickly. And now we're back at uh, home base. Nice. So this is going to do it. That's uh, what I've been up to. And the whole, the whole thing is just being able to create something. Uh, somebody wrote in. So some of the questions. Uh, w and WWE figures uh, just discovered your channel from my father. So that's really cool that you know, they're in the, it's in the family here. Um, we answered Skate's question about the hot bar. Uh, Michael... Wrote in lots of laughs in survival mode. You need to have die in your inventory. Yeah, that's why I don't play survival mode. I'm a creative type person. Uh, Brian wrote more. Mind test needs more attention. Yes, you can. You can have both. You can have Minecraft and play your story time game and and interact with people on the server, and then you could take mind test and and just work on mods and stuff like that. You could have the best of both worlds. You don't have to stay and, and just be, you know, oh, I'm loyal to just one. No, you can have both. That's how life works. <laughs> ah, so, yeah, there you have it. As we overlook the city, as the sun goes down, which is really nice. And I, it, I really do like the way this city looks at night. And that was one of the, uh, one of the, prerequisites it had to look as good at night as it during the day so we have the new world which is was just experimental and it's set up that you could have land parties with it or have a bunch of people log on to it on a local land server land party or on a computer and have people connect to it and play do first person shooter do whatever you want to do with it and then uh, reset the world afterwards because before I do anything with that world, I make a backup copy of it. So in case something gets screwed up, I just restore the copy and go from there. And it works. 
and uh, the other world. I can play this this world locally. It just takes an uh, exorbitant amount of memory, and then you will see lag if you're trying to use OBS and record at the same time. So there is that. But um, yeah, the Fourth of July weekend is coming up. Of course, all the fireworks have been canceled because of uh, Corona Chan, and uh, which is a shame because that's the only holiday I really look forward to. Not that it's the you know. Uh, the 4th of July and the Declaration of Independence and all that other oh, happy horse crap, but it's just fireworks. I just want to watch fireworks once a year. It's not too much to ask, and it's canceled because they don't want people standing too close to each other. So, <laughs> there is that. This is getting kind of, you know, spending eight hours a day working with a mask on is just, yeah, that's, that's, that is fun stuff let me tell you and i'm not the only one going through it but it's keeping it's keeping people alive i guess all right so that's going to do it until the next episode um everybody stay safe and cool and goodbye